From your startup screen, browse to your Chapter 11 folder and open the file Chapter 11 Sloping Pipes. Check in the project browser that you have Level 3 HVAC Pipe Plan open and scroll into the north part of the building. Revit MEP gives me the ability to slope pipes and I can do this in a variety of ways. I can select a pipe and click on Slope. This opens the Slope Editor. Here I can choose the Slope Value, the Slope Control Point, and click on Finish. And you can see that Revit has given us a warning. The slope that you specified could not be applied to this pipe. Please check the items that are connected and make sure they aren't constraining the slope of them. What this means is we need to think about this before we go ahead and actually put a slope on a pipe. Let's try that again with a single pipe. So from the Systems tab, click on Pipe, set my offset, check my diameter, and draw the pipe. If I select it, I can put a slope on it. Let's see what's happened to that in section. I'm going to use an unreferenced section, one that isn't used on sheets, and rotate it. And move it so that I can see my pipe. Let's go to the section view, and here we can see the pipe. Let's go back to the plan view. Click back on the pipe tool. If we look at the context toolbar, we can turn the slope. This pipe is going to be sloping up. We can define the slope value. And we can show slope tooltips. What the tooltip does is once you start placing your pipes, Revit tells us the start offset and the current offset. Probably more than any other service in Revit MEP, the sloped piping tool requires the greatest amount of planning. It does work and it works well. But as you can see here, without planning, we end up getting errors. So we'll try that again. Click on the pipe tool. And this time I'm going to ignore the slope to connect. Click on the pipe, start drawing my run. And that's created the pipe with a slope as I'd intended.